Yo, what's happening guys and welcome to the channel. If you haven't yet, please head on over and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below for the algorithm and give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down depending on how you felt it went. In today's video, we are going to be speaking about how to change the tempo of your Logic project despite the fact that you have already recorded WAV files. It's super easy and the Logic algorithm works really great for flexing time and changing tempos. But anyway, stick around. Let's get into it. All right, it's super easy to change the tempo in your Logic project. I'm gonna show you guys. So let's get into a project and see what we're working with. So what I've done here is I've just downloaded a bunch of WAV files stems from Epidemic Sounds just for copyright purposes, because I do want to monetize this channel when I get there. All right, so what I've got over here is four stems. I've got bass, I've got drums, I've got the instruments of the song, and I've got the vocals. I downloaded these off Epidemic Sounds. Uh, just because of copyright purposes and stuff, you know, I don't want to get copyright infringements and strikes on my channel because I do want to monetize this channel when the time comes. All right, so the first thing you want to do before you change the tempo, this song is set at 103. Let's have a listen to it and see what it sounds like. Let's play it from a section where there's a bit of vocals because the most important thing with changing tempo that I find is that you want to keep your vocals intact. You don't want them to sound all phasey and weird. So I'm going to play you the original tempo at 103 with the vocals in. Cutting the power lines, where I'm talking about it, a spark turns into fire. All right, so the first thing that you want to do with Logic is you want to activate flex time. So that is Command F on Mac. I'm not too sure what the shortcut is on Windows. Then the next thing you want to do with all those channels, you want to actually activate flex time. And how you do that is you click that little button over there and that should activate flex time on all your channels. The next thing that you want to do before adjusting the tempo is you want to set your parameters over here. So for instance, a bass guitar is a monophonic instrument. It's playing, we're generally playing one note at a time. So you want to set that to monophonic. Your drums, your drums are a rhythmical instrument. So you want to set rhythmic on that. And then because the rest of the instruments consist of many different notes on top of each other and chords and all of that stuff, you want to set your next thing to polyphonic over there, just in order for the logic algorithm to pick up all those different chords and changes. And the vocals, in a normal scenario, in a normal case with vocals, a vocal, one lead vocal is monophonic. It is just singing one note at a time. But because there are some harmonies and stuff in the stem, I'm gonna set my vocals to polyphonic so that it can pick up those harmonies. So once you've activated all your flex time options, the next step is super easy. All you gotta do is head on over here, double click and change the tempo. So we're gonna slow this one down to 95. And let's go to that vocal section and have a listen to what that sounds like. So as you can hear there with the logic algorithm, you've got quite a bit of flexibility. So let's make it really fast. Let's take it up to say 115 BPM. Should you feel your song is too slow and you wanna speed it up drastically. Let's have a listen to that and see if any of the nuances have been affected. So as you can hear, Logic handles tempo changes really well with WAV files, despite the fact that it stems or a monophonic instrument like a bass or a solo vocal, it handles it really well and it gives you lots of production flexibility. Because in this day and age, Tempo is everything. Tempo sets the tone of your song. And sometimes if a song is too BPM too fast, it's too fast and you slow it down a little bit and the song sits in that pocket. Well folks, 
That's it for this week. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video. It was a short one. If you guys have anything to say, please leave it in the comments below. Let's chat. Let's talk about it. Ask me anything. And uh, if you've got any video suggestions, let me know. I'd love to get to them and do some for you. And thank you so much to the guys that have already suggested some video topics. I look forward to doing those ones for you guys. But anyway, guys, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Ring the little bell for instant notifications and leave a comment below with a thumbs up or a thumbs down depending on how you thought the video went and if you want to get in touch with me please go and visit www.thehitlab.co.za and we can chat and figure out how we can work together i would love to work with you guys from wherever you are in the world we live in a modern era so we can work together from anywhere well guys have yourselves a fantastic week and i'll see you next time peace <music>